Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So I've got a nice little tutorial for you today. Um, this is like a little um, envelope pouch that I have made. Now I've made it out of some new papers that I've got in my shop. I'm going to give you a quick flip through of those in a minute. But I just wanted to come along and use some and make something that's quite simple um, and quite nice. You can probably uh, make this in no time at all. Um, which is lovely. So I've got a nice little closure um, on here with some seam binding and a little seam binding ruffle on there. So it just opens out like that. We have a pocket in here in the middle bit and I've just made a very, very simple, it's not really a journal, it's more for like a little notebook in there. Um, which is nice, goes into that pocket. I've got two little pockets here and then I've got a nice little pockety pouch thing in there. Um, which just sort of like opens up and I've just got a little velcro fastening on there and I've just stuck one of these on there as well it's like a little faux closure um, on there which I love so it's really really simple now I've sewn around these but again you don't have to do that at all um, and then we've got this lovely little flippy closure which closed down like that and then we just um, close it like that so really really lovely now I've got everything ready to make this um, so it will be a nice quick tutorial but I just want to show you a quick flip through of the papers we have 12 in here now these are in the my Etsy shop now and they're under backing papers now I call all of my papers which don't really have a focal point um, and they are just sort of like papers, there's like 10 or 12 papers in a pack. I call them backing papers because they are useful for all sorts of things. Um, so you don't, obviously you can make cards with these, um, you can just cover them, anything, your boxes, um, anything. So there's no sort of like focal point, that's why I call them backing papers, um, because they are useful for anything. Um, so these are lovely. And um, they're also called vintage. These are my vintage backing papers. They're almost sort of like a, a wallpapery sort of one, but they are old vintagey style, which I am absolutely loving. Now I can see lots of uses for these for me. Um, like I said, not just doing journals, but um, covering little boxes um, and things like that, which I love. Look at these. And they are, I think they've also got sort of almost like an autumn feel to them as well. Um, so if you're doing autumn journals or anything like that, these would work. Look at that one. That's the one that I did the envelope with. I think it's beautiful. A real nice a pop of colour on these. I love them. So there we go. And that's the last one. Beautiful yellow roses. So I am loving them. So yeah, that's got a nice sort of autumn-y feel to it, hasn't it? And it would also make a really nice journal cover like that, which I'm liking liking a lot so I'm going to show you how I've made this envelope now I've got everything ready um, just so it's quick and simple for you um, so I've got one of the papers here okay so this is just for the basic the out um, side of the envelope this is at the inside and I've just covered it with some book paper now I've clipped on here so we've got some nice measurements for you so we have got eight inches this way or 20 and a half centimeters by now we've got eight inches this way do apologize or 20 and a half centimeters or this way is 11 and a half inches or 29 centimeters okay and then what i've done i've folded this piece up and that piece down so that's your envelope now i'm going to quickly measure this for you so that bit I folded up is about 10 centimetres or what have we got? Four inches and the bit coming down is two inches or five centimetres. OK, so that is your basic envelope. So you'll know really how to fold that. Just fold a piece of paper that you've got um, like that into three, which is super simple. And then the first thing I'm going to do is make this little sort of a pocket at the bottom. 
Now I've already cut these pieces out like I said. Now I have sewn around it but you don't have to. Just make sure you stick it down properly or if you, you don't have to back it with um, anything you can print on the back of it, you can ink it, however you like, whatever you like to do. This is just giving you an idea. Now these two, I got that one to go on there and that one to go on there. So this is your little flappy pocket. So the bottom one, I have measured that too. So we have got the eight inches this way um, or three and a half. <clears throat> it's eight inches or 20 and a half centimetres um, by three and a half inches or nine centimetres. And then all as I've done, I've folded up probably about a centimetre or sort of like quarter of an inch on there to pop on there so that's the bit that opens up okay and I've also got some little bits of concertina paper here and this is just um, two inches I think by two and a quarter inches um, and then I've just um, scored it every half inch just so it folds up into a little W like that okay so we've got two of those and that's to make your little pocket here. So, but the first thing we're going to do is stick this piece down. So all as I'm going to do, oopsie daisy, is glue it down. Just glue it on like that. I'm just using some three in one. And I'm going to just pop that there and then stick that on top like that. We'll go straight. There we are. Like that. So that's your little pocket. And make sure we are going to stick down nicely. Like that. And then these two pieces here, I'm going to stick on. Let's go this way. I'm going to stick one on here. I'm going to have them a bit closer up to the top I think. Let's make sure that's stuck down nicely. Then I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on here. And then just, I don't want it the whole length. I didn't want it the whole length of that. But you can if you wanted to. And then that just goes down. So we do both sides like that. stick this on this side just stick it on so it's level with the outside like that so they're both stuck down a little bit of glue make sure we're not going to glue everything together a little bit of glue on this side and this side and then this just folds up and glues onto there like that to just hold that down okay so then we have got once that is nice and stuck down we have then got our lovely little pocket in there which is great and you fit lots and lots of bits and pieces in there so this is a great one again I love making things for sort of like happy mail bits and sending in the post um, giving you ideas to do that okay so that's the um, bottom bit now the top bit I have got the measurements for this as well so again it is eight inches across um, or 20 and a half centimeters and then this time we have got two and three quarter inches or six and three quarter centimeters okay so I will pop those over there and again just fold that piece down um, which is a centimetre or three quarter, or quarter of an inch or something like that. Now this piece, we need to stick down on level with your little fold there. Okay. So I've just inked the fold just so I know where to stick it. Just so we're in a nice straight line. Is that enough on there. And we want to just pop that on. There, like that. Make sure that's level. Make sure my head isn't in the way. Pushing that down. So there we go. Open that up. Stick that down. So 
that was quite simple, wasn't it? So and then that just flops down um, as your little closure, your little pocket. And there we go. Make sure that's stuck. And then I have I only got one of these left. I cannot find the rest of them. Now these are my little um, Velcro sticky little um, closures that I've got here. So I'm going actually I'm not going to put that on yet. Just give me a minute. Stick that back on there. I'm going to pop the little um, one of these on. Now these are what I made out of my recycled Amazon packaging. Um, so I'm going to just stick a little faux one on there. Now again, if you want to, you can cover them, but I'm just going to just ink it, just because I think they look sort of almost like leather. And when you do that, it's like a little leather closure. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember what these are called, but I think that looks really nice. Now you could probably pop something in between um, in that little hole, but I'm just going to stick that on like that make sure we're sort of in the middle shall we just measure that we need to be on four I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on there like that and stick it there that's the middle like that there we go, so quite a simple little pocket. And then I'm going to take this, pop that underneath, like that, and stick that down. There we go. Oops, I'm not going to open it up because that will pop off. I will wait until that's dry because I will make a big mess otherwise. So that's on there. So that's our little pocket on there. And then this just folds up. Perfect. Now, the other pocket. Now, this is another pocket. I've used the same paper, so we're not wasting anything. So that will just sit on there. Now, this pocket, I put the dimensions on here. So again, we got eight centimeters, eight, eight inches or 20 centimeters. Um, by three and a half or nine centimeters. Okay, so these are just a rough, a rough guess that I've done. So it's either 20 or 20 and a half centimeters. So I'm sure you will work it out. So I'm going to just stick that on like this with a little bit of glue around the edges. Now I've sewn around all of these. Um, but again, you don't have to sew anything. You can just stick them on. Nice little bit of glue. I'm going to do it this way, just so I get this level. Just a little bit of a gap in between there. Like that. There we go. So that's our lovely little pocket and then I have got two little pockets that I'm going to put onto here which I love this paper and this one is two and a half by three and a half inches or six and a half by nine centimeters so that's that one and then this one is three and a half by two inches or nine by five centimeters so that one goes on there like that so just glue these on like this. You could probably um, do lots of these. You could just cut them out. You could uh, cut them out of just random pieces of paper if you wanted to and have ni a nice sort of like eclectic um, little pouchy envelope, which would look really nice. Or you could sort of like mass make them, couldn't you? Because they're quite simple. Once you have got the basics cut out and ready, um, which I do like to do on most of my projects, just get everything ready and you just do it and stick them together. So there we go. We've got two lovely, lovely pockets on there. Or three lovely pockets. So that's on there. 
perfect let's see let's undo that that's it perfect and then this flips up and this flips down lovely okay let's get another one of our little things we actually we need two of these let's ink them up again just a lovely little bit of i'm using the vintage photo as i always do let's just see how we're doing for time oh easy peasy we've got lots and lots of time so such a quick project stick that on there okay so just finish inking these up sorry my phone just rang then so i had to stop so we are going to put one on here and then we've got this little piece here which is going to be used for the little flap now this is two inches by one and a half inches oops turning the wrong thing over or four centimeters by five centimeters and what I'm going to do I'm just going to fold it up just a little bit because that's the bit we're going to stick on the back like that so that will just stick on there like that and then that goes on there so I'm going to pop this onto this bit first so let's get some little brads a little, I've got a couple of these little funny little brassy brads here. And we'll put that on there. Now I need to make a little hole, don't I? Where's my little hole? There we are. Let's just make a little hole out through there. Don't stab yourself. Put that in there. Perfect. And then we want to glue this onto here before we do the other bit. So I'm going to open this out. Put that on there. Now let's see if we can find the middle a little bit. Make sure we're not too off. This on here. Then we want to stick it on this edge here. So we want about four centimeters don't we so let's stick that bit down there there we are so then we fold it up that folds over like that okay perfect and then we need to pop this one on here let's make a little hole in this one so we want roughly shall we put it Four centimeters of hole in there. Another uh, little rad. Now I want to use. I've got some um, seam binding here, so we want to use a little bit of this. So how much do you think we will need? So let's do it like that. Cut this off roughly. You can use that other piece. Oh, actually, what I need to do, I need to sew the little ruffle along here, don't I? Unless I have, where's my little ruffles that I made? Here we go, look, I've got my bunch of ruffles. I could just use one of these brown ones, couldn't I? And stick that on, actually. Shall we have this one? And that one will go with this? That will go with that. That would look really nice, wouldn't it? So let's do that. Make use of our ruffles that are already made. Let's pop that. Let's. Shall I just glue that down first, I think? Glue this along there. Save me sewing. Look, I'm not even taking it off the thing. Sticking it down and then cutting it off. There we 
go. Oh, I do like that. It goes very well, doesn't it? Oh, let's go this way. Oops. Make sure we're level. Stick that down. Oh, I like that. Now, is this going to be in the wrong place? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's pop our ruffles away. Now, what I'm going to do, what did I do with that brad? I'm going to pop that, oops, that through there like that. And then I'm going to just scrunch this up a little bit. It's a bit too flat, isn't it? Like that. There we are. That's better. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to just fold over my little piece of seam binding there. I'm going to pop the little hole in here, like that, pop the brad through, like that, so we've got that attached and then this will go through the hole. And then we fold that piece back, like that. Let's see, there we go, and then this will just wrap around like this. I need to scrunch it up just a little bit more. Now I'm going to just tie a knot in this. It might be a little bit too long, but that's okay. Just a little knot. And then that can even just go back over. That looks really nice, doesn't it? So let's just open that out because what I would like to do is just cover these little bits and I've got a little bit of paper here that will do. Let's get one of my little punches. Pop that in there. I'll have two of these, one for the bottom one. Let's just ink this around. Gosh, somebody gardening or cutting their lawn again. We have got some very grotty old weather out there at the moment but it's very very humid um, so it's not pleasant at the moment there we go. but obviously somebody can still find time to mow their lawn I'm sure you can probably hear that I can't close the window because it is so warm need lots of nice fresh air coming in really Okay, so that is covered that up, so I think that looks a little bit tidier. And then I'm going to pop that, it stops it getting caught on anything as well. So let's just pop a little bit of glue on there. Just stick that on. Lovely. Okay. That's that. Now I'm loving this. I do like the mixture of the colours and everything on here. Now I would like to make a quick little journal. Now I've got some papers that I've already got here. Now shall we make it with this one? Shall I just make a long one? Will that fit in there? It might fit, right in it. Let's just have a look. Let's fold that in half. Oh that fits. Look at that. And then that will go with the pockets, won't it? The style. So I need to pop the glue on here. I am going to, I hope that's not going to um, make it the picture all go all funny. I'm going to take a piece of our book paper. We want to back this, don't we, with some book paper going to be the right size Ooh, just maybe I'll cut it down just a little bit okay let me just cut this down just a fraction off here just so that we fit that paper nicely little bit of glue stick and here 
Now I will give this a quick whiz round on the sewing machine just so it goes with the other bits and pieces that I've done. Take that off. nice pieces for my collage I can do didn't do that very well did I I think I might just trim this just so it looks a little bit neater there we go okay so that's done now what I want to do I'm just going to quickly whiz around this with the sewing machine so two seconds okay so there we go I've gone around the edge with the sewing machine and I think that looks really nice in there make sure it's stuck down nicely okay now we need to pop some paper in here let's see I've got some tea stain paper here how is this going to work which way will it work this way Will that fit? Just, I think. Maybe I'll go this way with them. Like that. Then I can just cut that end bit off. So let's just do a few of these quickly. doesn't have to be a big um, journal or notepad or anything just a few pages I think I probably have 10 pages in there like this okay perfect let's pop them all in together like this level those up a little bit pop that in there will we be able to tear these off what do you think I shouldn't really I should really cut them off shouldn't I maybe I will just to be quick I'm going to just drop it down a little bit like that get my big scissors and just cut it another little um, pages in there haven't we so that fits perfect then we just need to cut these down I'm going to try and do that with this what do you think do you think that's going to be too thick oh no that went pretty well didn't it little bits there Ooh, lovely okay now how should we put that together I think I'm going to just sew down I'm going to just sew down through there I think that's what I did on this one let me have a look I can't remember yes I sewed it down there through the middle where's the middle there's the middle I just did little sewing bits like that in there so two seconds I'm just going to quickly sew this in through the middle okay so there we go I've just done a quick little stitch it's only 10 12 pages including this one so it, the sewing machine went through it really well um, as long as you get sort of like make sure you're level which that went pretty well 
like that so there we go we've got a lovely little journal super simple that's a nice front isn't it so I think that's lovely so that one oh not that one we want this one and then that just pops in there like that which I think looks great so we've got our little velcro pocket in there make sure we haven't stuck it down with glue so that just opens up little concertina sides on there that will close down and then we've got our two pockets there pocket there and then this just flips up love it so that's quite simple to do lift these up that goes on there and I'm loving this little ruffle here I think that looks really nice this might be just a little bit I need to scrunch it up a little bit more I think so there we go perfect a little bit too long but I think that looks good probably have to just cut that off but there we go guys that is a nice quick simple little envelope get everything sort of like ready and you can just stick it and put it all together loving the colors this is my other one here which I love this nice bright colors as well and that just goes down so two lovely ones and we have got the beautiful papers here which I've made them from so they're in my Etsy shop at the moment so do pop over and take a look um, and there we go all right guys thank you so so much for joining me please stay safe take care and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.